Hello, I'm Brian Lesser, president of Xenix Software. In this short video, I'm going to explain a unique feature of essential tests that we refer to as automatic data type conversion. A lot of essential test users may be unaware that there's a built-in data type conversion provided in the app metadata editor. The conversion is useful when the data type of an element of test data is not stored in the type required by a set or get action. This might occur when data is imported from Excel where all the fields are exported as strings. For example, there may be data items with strings true or false that need to be converted to booleans in order to use them to check or uncheck a checkbox field. Often when dealing with integers or real numbers, there's a need to convert them to strings in order to use the set or get actions which interact with the target application. By specifying the value type in the app metadata editor, a central test handles these conversions automatically. Let's look at an example. This target application converts measures of length from one unit of measure to another. The from and to fields are text fields that accept and present numbers as strings. But since tests involving numbers might require mathematical operations, it's more convenient to store the values as real numbers. Without the automatic type conversion, I'm required to pass a value of type string to the set action of the from field. But since I want the variable to be a real number, I'm going to change its type to real. But watch what happens if I attempt to run my step. I get an error because the types don't match. The automatic type conversion makes it very easy to resolve. I'll access the app metadata editor and locate the from field. Then I'll change the value type from string, which is the default, to real. Now when I run the step, essential test converts the variable of type real into a string automatically so that the number will get set to the text field. The same conversion is available for get actions. I'll change the value type of the to field to real and specify the number of decimal places that I want. Now I'll get the value of the to field into a variable of type real without having to take any action to convert the type. I hope that you found this short video on a central test data type conversion feature informative. If you would like to learn more, please visit us at www.xenix.com.